Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some of this jungle pack look like the image here. Now, of course, to make something that looks like this takes a lot of time and effort, but I'm going to give you a very quick tutorial specifically on how to make this grassland because it's actually quite easy to do this and I'm going to show you how. All right, so I've loaded everything into Unreal and I've opened up the showcase grass field just so that we can kind of get to see what we're looking at here, okay? It's actually not too complicated here, and if you really look at this here, if we go, for example, into the foliage tab here, you can see that nothing has been added. So if you were to just open up this, you'd kind of, you wouldn't understand how it works there. Now, one of the things that I do is I have all of my, um, all, all of my landscape stuff in one project here, so that's why you see this big, long, uh, list of items here, but essentially you can go ahead and pull this into a project. It's free for um, August, so if it's not free, then, um, well, I guess it's not free. But nevertheless, um, that's what I do, and what I recommend is opening up these two projects here because there's a lot of shaders that need to be rendered. Anyway, let's get to the tutorial. Let's say we're going to make a new level, go to default here, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to landscape, and I'm just going to make the numbers two by two, um, and then I'm just going to drag this down here. I've already done a prototype here. I always prototype things first here. And um, I think there might actually be a jungle. If I type in jungle. Okay, I guess there really isn't one there. But, you know, I, I basically have the grass terrain here. It really doesn't matter because it's going to be full of a grassland here. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and push create. And look at this. Here we go. Let's go ahead. Let's change up the brush size a bit here, and we'll kind of make some rolling hills uh, for the grassland. Uh, you definitely, you know, if you've ever been to a grassland, you'll know that the hills are somewhat rolling here, so there we go. And I think that's pretty good. Maybe fall off a bit so we can even this out just a, a bit more. Uh, yeah, there we go. Out. Right. And so let's go ahead and let's play it here. And well, I suppose that looks pretty good, uh, at least for this particular demo here. Uh, maybe it's a bit too high in the background, but nevertheless, let's go ahead and let's add in the foliage. So let's go to modes, foliage, and we need to drop in some foliage here. Okay, so what we can do is go to message, uh, meshes, grass, literally select everything and drop everything in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these and put this, well I think we can try 100 first. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to hop into paint here and what we need to do is we need to uh, change the paint size. So I think it's normally something like this. What we're going to do is we're just going to change the paint size to something literally that is like the entire map here, right? So that's all you need to do and maybe some of the map isn't there and just click. And there we go. We now have everything here. Now, this isn't as dense as I would like it to be. So let's go ahead and let's undo that for a second here. Let's hop into each one of these here and let's make it three times as dense. So we'll make it 300 and then we'll go ahead and click again. And I think that's starting to look more and more like a grassland, all right? And as you can see, that's quite a bit of grass. And you're system is probably chugging at this point. I know mine is. And you'll notice that some of these areas will need a little bit of extra grass, especially these high-end ones here. But that is looking pretty good. Now, it doesn't look exactly the same, so you can play around with a certain grass here. But nevertheless, we do have a nice-looking grassland here. Um, let's just go ahead. Let's undo that again. And what we can actually do is if we really wanted uh, you know, certain kinds of grass over another, uh, we can absolutely do that. So let's say if we wanted this one to have, or this one to be the main one, we can maybe do a thousand of these, 
And then, you know, if we were to do this here, we'd see a lot more of that particular kind of grass here. And of course, that is maybe a bit too much, right? But nevertheless, we do have a nice looking grass field here. And it is just that simple to make a simple grass field. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. This channel is not yet monetized. So please help us out by liking and subscribing. And if you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month. We don't do a Patreon sale. We set our di we instead we sell our digital products down below. The more money we get from the content that you buy below, the more content we can make. All right. See you in the next video.